All right, got three poles cut about 10 feet, about the time together. All right, I got it assembled. We had to use two 10 by 12 tarps. I couldn't find a 10 by 20 tarp at Lowe's. I'm gonna get some tent stakes and uh, stake the bottoms down here. The kids are already enjoying it. They've been in it and playing while I was tying some of these, or tying this last uh, tarp on. A fire made me warm yeah. a little bit. Yeah, we got a little fire going in here. I to leave it open now. It's pretty smoky. Boys laying over here. There was enough of the tarp left. We could fold it in towards the inside so they could lay on the on the tarp instead of the ground. All right, this is day two uh, out here at the teepee. Me and the boys just stayed out here for about an hour. Uh, didn't bring anything really, just some light blankets. Uh, one of them fell asleep, the other one stayed pretty cold, but he didn't really have the right clothing to be out here for very long. Um, we just kind of went over some of the survival skills, you know, how to try to stay warm when it's cold. We weren't trying to sleep out here or anything. We we're just kind of hanging out, trying to make a fire. Uh, a lot of the wood and everything out here is pretty damp, so everything was smoking pretty bad. Uh, before I come out, or before I started the fire, I opened it up, uh, up at the top a little more. Let some of that smoke out a little better. And then I grabbed some old uh, scrap wood from all the projects and building the house and everything. Brought some of that out here. Just the tarp alone, getting out of the wind, um, has made a huge difference. Just having this little fire here has made a big difference also. But main thing is getting that wind off makes a big deal. It's uh, pretty windy here this evening. Uh, I'll check the temperature real quick, see what that is. It says it's only 37 degrees. So, not super cold. Also, I didn't use um, treated lumber at all. It's got a lot of toxins in it, chemicals. So, just in case anybody's wondering. Got the dog out here with me. Come on, boy. Come on. 
Here it comes. Come here, buddy. Come on. Good boy. He loves running around out here. Sometimes it's nice just lay next to a fire and relax and listen to nature or listen to your dog running around. <laughs> Hopefully he'll calm down, lay down here for a minute. World's getting crazy crazier especially with, with Russia and China if you're not prepping and saving food and building gardens and getting livestock now's the time And they found something. Oh, I don't know what that is. What did you find? was that, buddy? What did you find? Oh, yeah, what is it? What is it, buddy? What is it? Huh? What did you find? Something was hollering out there. Hear it. Some of the damn ones out here.
We're about at the edge of my property. Sound like something was dying. Several chickens go missing. Uh, some coyotes. And we've had uh, one or two go missing from a raccoon a long, long time ago. Pulled its head off through the fence, but we we fixed that since then. I can't get them get them now. The coyotes will get them during the day. They free range them. And we've seen a bobcat a couple times, but we haven't seen it real close to the house. Come up to the house. Well, I guess whatever it is, it's gone or dead. They're hiding. They heard us. Seen us. Come on. That was interesting. <sighs> Good boy. Come here. Come here. I guess he wasn't bothering it. From in here, it sounded like it was behind us, behind me, but it's actually to the left. German Shepherds make good guard dogs. I've had a couple now. This one's dad. I had him just take him camping all the time. He's very good. Guarding the campsite. He was always very alert. Just and he's just like his dad. He stays on alert and watches out really good. My bad thing is they don't want to lay next to you when it's cold and you're trying to stay warm. They kinda usually the the dad would usually be about in the middle of the campsite where you kind of see everything. And he won't, he'll come in here for a minute and then run him back out there. But right now he's sitting out in front, just looking around. Now he's checking around the tent. Probably call it a night once this kind of die this fire dies down. I gotta get some tent uh, tent stakes. Gotta stake this thing out. Yeah, I guess I'm about to call it a night. Oh, I'd love to stay out here all night. I got work in the morning. Yeah, it's turning out pretty nice. I guess more tent stakes. I don't want to use the ones for my tents. Right. It was a pretty windy day. It got pretty windy coming out of the north. It kind of blew some of this loose. Like I had this tucked underneath. I put a stake, stake in right there, maybe, and flip that over underneath, and stake some of that down. It's kind of came up a little bit from pulling it around and stuff. 
that one's tucked under still or it wasn't when i got here like i tucked it under see that's what he does is lay around by the entrance if he doesn't hear anything for a while Yeah, that's so what I need to get. I get some of those old tent stakes and stay, finish staking this out. And I think it'd be pretty good. I opened up the top, you know, and that, that seemed to help. There's something out there still. I'd like to catch one of these coyotes. Get some payback. <clears throat> well, Alright guys. I guess it's about time to head in. Get ready for bed. Go to work in the morning. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, please hit the like button, and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I appreciate it. Also, I forgot to mention that I got this idea of doing a teepee from uh, Corporal's Corner. If you haven't checked him out before, you should definitely check his channel out. Does a great job. He's very knowledgeable.